Hi, welcome to the video. This time around we're going to talk about how to use the trumpet string on our Madeline hurdy-gurdy. For demonstration purposes, the instrument is laying on a flat surface so I can get the best camera angle to show you. Let's get started. The trumpet string is this red string and when we ship the instrument, all the strings are turned off, so you probably won't hear any sound. When you crank, you see the wheel turning, but not making any sound. The way we turn this string on or off, you can see us looped over a brass pin over here. We just pull it off the pin so that it's allowed to touch the wheel. There we go. Now we're getting a note. To turn it off again, just pull it away and loop it over that brass pin. No sound. So now you know how to turn the string on or off for this model. The string should be tuned to a G note for this model. Our tuning charts are on page 12 and page 10 of our instruction book. The usual tuning we send these out is in the G C tuning, which is on page 10. So that's probably the one you're following along with for the tuning chart. If you're not sure which tuning yours is in, for the most part, we send them out in G, C. We only do D, G by special request, usually. Um, if you're not sure, again, look at your lesson book. You'll see that we highlight the top of the page there just as an extra reference point. Back to the string. We're going to use the corresponding tuner on the other end of the instrument to make adjustments. And we're going to bring this up to proper pitch. As you can see, I'm getting a D note here. Why is it so far away from where it's supposed to be? Well, the reason is we loosen the strings for shipping. We're going to raise the pitch up to a G. Hopefully you can see I've got the needle right in the middle and a green light. If yours doesn't do that, you can noodle with the tuner back and forth till you get it just right. A lot of new players can go too far. And now I'm G sharp. See, my tuner says G with a little number sign. That's a G sharp note. I need it to be regular G, so I'm going to bring it back down. There we go. If you find that you're getting weird scratchy sounds, it is possible your cotton may be out of position. We want the cotton to be slid in place so that it touches the wheel band. Sometimes, like you see this string here where the cotton is way off to the side, well if that's the case with your trumpet string, be sure to slide it back in position to get the best note. The next topic in this video is how to use the trumpet string. It's a drone string, so if you need a G note, you're set. You're good to go there. But if you want to buzz with it, like you're going to tap out a rhythm, there's a few adjustments that will be helpful for you to know how to make. The first is how to adjust the trumpet so that it buzzes properly. There's a violin peg sticking out of the end of the instrument here on the crank handle end. You'll adjust that with your left hand. This peg is connected to that red string by a tensioning string made of hemp thread. So that's part of how it works. When I rotate this so it tightens and pulls on the red string more, it makes the buzzing more sensitive. It makes it more prone to buzzing. For instance, if I tighten it, I'll do the wrist gyrations so that it buzzes and I'll tighten it. And now you see I tightened it too much. It's buzzing uncontrollably. I'll go the other direction. Just find that sweet spot there. If I loosen it too much, it doesn't buzz at all, no matter what I'm doing with my right hand cranking. So there's, as I mentioned again, uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, there's just a sweet spot in there. 
How do you know if you're a new player? You might not know how to get the buzzing. The buzzing is achieved by gyrations or flicks of the wrist with your right cranking hand. For just to get you started for demonstration purposes, I'm going to turn off the string and show you how to get a basic rhythm. When I'm cranking, there's a part of the rotation where I'm coming up, like there, and a part where I'm going down, like there. On the down part, think of it like hitting a drum. You're going to give a little extra push of your cranking hand. That's the basic, easiest rhythm to get. That's the one you tap your foot to when you're playing. So I'll turn back on my trumpet string. Hopefully you can see what's going on there. So just practice that uh, and adjust your ad tensioner there until you can get that one buzz per rotation pretty consistently. The last thing we're going to talk about with our trumpet string is the drone capo. We're down at the other end of the instrument by where the tuners are. And we'll look down inside the instrument and we see that little paddle there. For this model, that's the drone capo. The way it works, you rotate it so that it points at the trumpet string. That's all there is to it. And my G string before is now an A string. If I want it back to a G, I just rotate it out of the way. It's a way to quickly change tuning so you can play in different key signatures without having to worry about actually retuning the string. One last note about the drone capo, it's either fully engaged or fully disengaged. There's no in-between. That concludes this video. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully you're more comfortable using your trumpet string.